Now it's here. It's now. It's game time. Yes! Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. I've never been so insulted in all my life. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to Victory Park. It's Chorley v Barnet in the Vanarama National League. So I've had a few people come up to me and tell me I'm starting to look really old since I started doing the vlogs. My reply was simple. We're all getting old. No shit, Sherlock. But they said, nah, it's because you support Barnet. Yo, tell me with this I get it out 30 years Unfortunately, it's true. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get the football news! Surely still sit 24th after 34 games. They've won four, they've drawn 14, they've lost 16, scoring 29, conceding 58, giving them a goal difference of minus 29, and they're on 26 points. The last five games have been two draws and three losses. They've not won in the last 12. We've been there. Jamie Vlumiglio is still in charge and he's now taken 88 games where he's won 34, he's drawn 25 and he's lost 29, giving him a win percentage of 38.64. It was 44.29% last time we met. <laughs> Number seven, Alex Newby, who has six goals in 34 games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. The fifth of the fifth, 1990. Chorley won, Barnet four. No highlights of the game. Did we even have technology back in them days? So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out, Tan. No fuck you today. This season's been tough enough on you already, Chorley. All I ask is that the game goes ahead and it's playable. Because I don't fancy coming back up on a Tuesday night. Thank you. Come on, Barnet! <laughs> Starting lineup for Barnet today in the 3 5 2. Loach in goal, your free centre arse of Elliot Johnson, Callum Reynolds, and Ricardo Santos. David Zatondra is your left wing back. Shad Alexander is your right wing back. Two centre mids today, Captain James Dunn and Dan Sweeney. Mara Valletti in the number 10 role. And up front, Simeon Akinola and Paul McCallum. And this is our Shorty lineup today in the 4 4 2. It's in! It's in! Yes! There we go! About two minutes in, surely nil, Barnet one. McCallum with an easy tap in. Flutty wins the ball from a throw in, plays through to Sim. Sim's running in. He's in a six yard box, had a shot, keeper parries it out. McCallum's only got to tap it in. One nil, Barnet. At 15 to the half, we still need one nil. Surely have played the better football. They've not had many chances, but they've worked the ball a lot better than we have when they're in possession. They're putting the balls into the right area, just haven't got anyone in there to put the ball in the back of the net. They're working better off the ball than we are as well. Five to the half, we're still leading. Surely, are banging on that door. Are they playing better football than us, or are we making them look better than they actually are? Last two minutes, been all surely. If they had someone that could finish, they'd be beating us. They're putting so many decent balls into the right area. Time here at Victory Park, it's Chorley nil, it's Barnet one. Based on that first 45 minutes performance, they shouldn't be bottom. We've got to be lucky that they've got fuck all up front. We're slow to the ball, we panic. They look comfortable playing out at the back better than we are. Apart from scoring in the first minute, Reynolds winning every ball in the air. That's a poor half from us. Dunny's got to get off a set pieces. They're fucking shit. We still struggle for ideas. It's only one nil, so anything can happen. Second half coming up. Oh, fuck off. 
10 minutes into the second half, we're still leading. We get a free kick on the edge of the area. Akinola takes it, he's wrestled the bar. Sim whips the ball back in McCallum, knocked it over. 65 minutes in, dodgy back pass by George the Kiwi. He did not want that, he's played it out. Sim picks the ball up, plays it to Sweeney. Sweeney has a shot, it looks like it's going top bin. Deflected for a corner. Jolie have run out of puff in this second half. It's 90th, just added on four minutes. Nothing has changed, we're still leading. So the game finished, Chorley nil, Barnet won. It must be so frustrating being a Chorley fan, doing all of that hard work and getting no reward out of it. The amount of effort that they put in to a game, they just can't put the ball in the back of the net. I like the way they play. I like the way they set up. They're not a typical Northern side. They're a hard-working, honest Northern team, and they should be proud that their team liked to play some football. They made it hard for us, and at times they showed us how the game should be played when they knocked it around us. I thought their movement on the ball and off the ball was excellent. They just ran out of puff being part-timers. We got an early goal. They should have put the nerves to bed. But at times, we were panicking. And surely had nothing to fear against us. They were the better team in the first half. But we got the all-important goal. I just don't want us to get too carried away and get ahead of ourselves. There's still loads to improve on. Our set pieces have been shocking. And our finishing in front of goal as well. Let's see if we can try and improve on it. Tuesday, home. If it goes ahead against Dagenham and Redbridge. You know what to do. Ta-da!